guys, thanks for watching TFB TV. I'm Joel. We are finally done with the 2019 SHOT Show. And I have been tasked with giving you my five favorite rifles from the show. So stick with me and let's get into this. So the first one I'm going to bring to you is from LMT, Lewis Machine and Tool, and uh, they have the Confined Space Weapon. And this is in 300 Blackout, and I, probably along with you, can't look past the Space Weapon part. It's actually Confined Space Weapon. I just see Space Weapon. I mean, come on. Space Force, no explanation needed, right? But uh, this thing is in 300 Blackout. It is ultra short. It's got a compact stock. It's got a short... Um, 12 inch integrally suppressed barrel on it. So the suppressor fits down over the barrel underneath of the handguard making it a very short very compact system uh, that can be used in tight spaces. Um, it's being well received by military and law enforcement for close quarters combat and uh, it is a very cool looking weapon system. As you all know the 300 Blackout it was designed to do dark things in dark places quietly. I mean, what is not to like about that? Uh, some of the features, it does have an ambidextrous charging handle. And let me pause for just a second. I'm super tired of people saying ambidextrous in videos. Guys, come on, we're better than that. All right, my personal little pet peeve here, ambidextrous, not ambidextrous. Thank you. It has an overall length of 24 inches and obviously would make the perfect uh, you know, close quarters, kind of home defense gun or truck gun, uh, or for, uh, you know, the operator among you, uh, if you want to use it in military law enforcement setting for close quarters combat, could be the perfect weapon system for you. That comes in at number five on my list today. Number four on the list, we have the Savage MSR-10 long range rifle, and this is in 6.5 Creedmoor. And let me stop you right there. All right, don't argue with me on 6.5 versus 308. Don't be calling it a boutique round or anything like that, okay? The 6.5 has uh, permanently and handedly taken over, uh, you know, the regular civilian market as kind of the premier long-range caliber, okay? Uh, 308 uh, is not going anywhere. 6.5 is considerably better. And, um, you know, across the board, across the spectrum at SHOT Show, we saw way more 6.5 Creedmoors, um, you know, than we did probably anything else when it comes to precision shooting. So it's here to stay, guys. So the MSR-10 sports the Magpul PRS stock, which is a great precision rifle stock. Uh, it obviously has a lot of adjustment for length of pull and comb height. Uh, it's just a great all-around stock, so it's no wonder that they, they use that stock on there. It's kind of the premier one, especially when it comes to outfitting AR-type rifles for shooting long range. So I definitely approve of that stock choice. Um, it does have a, uh, a crisp two-stage trigger. <clears throat> that came in, you know, I think it's around three and a half, four and a half pounds, something like that, which is plenty light enough uh, on an AR platform. Um, the features that I personally like uh, about this gun, um, it does have an adjustable gas block, all right? That's a big thing. So when you're, you're trying to put different types of ammunition, different weights, uh, powder charges, all those sorts of things through a weapon system, especially an AR, you need to be able to tune that gas system to function properly with the rifle. So to have an adjustable gas block uh, built in from the factory is very handy, and I, I definitely approve uh, of that. I also really like the non-reciprocating upper, side charging upper, uh, on, this, on this firearm. Um, it just makes it easy to keep your face you know, locked into the gun and then just run that charging handle uh, on the side of the upper receiver with your off hand. Um, it makes it very efficient, very quick. It's way easier than trying to fumble around with that standard uh, charging handle on an AR platform and pull it back towards your face, usually smacking yourself in the face. And I, I'm going to be honest, guys, I don't know how many times I went to grab that charging handle, had my fingers slip off and smack myself in the face. Maybe I'm the only one, but it has definitely happened to me. I know it's happened to you, even if you admit it or not. So having the side charging handle uh, on this uh, up is really nice feature. And the final reason that I really kind of like this, um, this gun, why it comes in at my number four, is because it was designed and built by actual precision shooters, okay? The guys that had a hand in this particular gun 
they shoot PRS style competitions. All right, so that means something. It means they've got experience behind a gun, taking it out to distance. So for me, that's a big win, all right? And the MSRP on the uh, Savage MSR-10 comes in at $24.99. And I know I forgot to mention it, but the, uh, the price on the LMT, uh, my number five gun, comes in at $39.99 for the confined space weapon. All right, my number three comes in as the Daniel Defense Delta V. This is their new bolt-action rifle. It is their first attempt at making a bolt-action rifle. Don't let that detract you from this weapon system. It's actually a very high quality piece. Uh, as a precision long range bolt action guy, um, I can definitely vouch for it. I went to a media event back in the fall where we put thousands of rounds through it collectively as a media and, uh, and it performed very, very well. Um, Daniel Defense is well known. I don't have to tell you guys this. They're well known for making high end AR type platforms. I mean, some of their weapons are in use by SOCOM, so don't give me any crap about the reliability or anything else about Daniel Defense, okay? Their quality is solid, so their ability to build a bolt action rifle should also be there, even though it is their first one. Now, everything about this gun is proprietary except for the trigger, okay? It's a Timney Elite Hunter, adjustable down to a pound and a half, so the trigger's very good, and it really is the only thing on this gun that was not made by Daniel Defense. The stock on the gun, uh, ergonomically, it's just very, uh, it feels very good, all right? It feels like any other precision bolt action stock that you've got. You've got a lot of adjustment on the cheek piece, um, length of pull, you've actually got toe in and toe out on that cheek piece so that you can make sure that you can keep full contact with your cheek instead of just one point of your cheek. So it allows for a very solid, you know, matchup between your head uh, and, the, and the stock. So your cheek weld is great. Um, it does have an aluminum uh, mini chassis built into it. So there's no need to bed this, right? The action, the, uh, the recoil lug, all made up perfectly with the aluminum um, chassis that's built in, allowing for a very strong platform. So this rifle is initially being offered in 308, 65 Creedmoor, there's the Creedmoor again guys, and the uh, 7mm 08. These are great caliber choices, obviously. 308, the old standby, 65mm, the, the better choice for precision long range, uh, for shooting at targets and for hunting, and then of course, 7mm 08 is a great hunting round. So they've kind of covered all their bases. Um, this gun does have an interchangeable barrel nut, kind of like a Savage style uh, interchangeable barrel, and it has swappable bolt faces. So you can change calibers on the fly with this gun. So you buy one gun, you buy a different bolt face and different barrel, and you've got a completely different caliber weapon uh, with you know just simple tools that you can do yourself at home, kitchen table, in your shop, whatever the case may be. The MSRP on the Daniel Defense Delta V comes in at $21.99. All right, and my number two pick is the Ridgeback by Bergara. This is in their Premier Series line. And this gun, also a bolt action, is offered in several calibers, but the one I would be interested in is the 6.5 Creedmoor. Uh, of course, because of the long range, um, you know, flat trajectory over and above the 308 uh, or the other calibers offered. Now, they offer this gun in a lot of different calibers, too many to mention. You'll have to go on their website and figure that out. Um, but suffice to say, um, they've covered their bases, and there is a caliber out there that I'm sure you would appreciate if you don't like the 6.5 Creedmoor cartridge. So the first thing to mention about this gun is the stock, right? It's a Grabo Ridgeback stock. They named the gun Ridgeback because of the stock. The stock is the most important part at this point, just because, and I say that, you know, me personally, and there's a lot of other great features which I'm going to get into, I really like uh, this style of stock, you know, wide, flat forend, uh, M-lock attachment rails uh, all along it. Um, it's very good for shooting off of PRS-style barricades, so it can make it for a great competition gun right out of the box because the stock is designed the way that it is. And it's also got a anti-cant bubble level built right in, um, so you can stay on your gun and right in front of your face, about two inches in front of your face, three inches in front of your face is going to be a bubble level, so you can see if your gun is canted or not, which really comes into play when you're taking long-range shots. 
Another one of the great features about Bergara is their barrels, okay? They make their own barrels, they cut them in-house, the quality control standards therefore go up, alright? These are great barrels. I've owned a Bergara uh, before, the B14 HMR in a 6.5 Creedmoor. It was under a half minute gun all day long with nice factory ammunition and it just got better with hand loads, okay? These are some of the best barrels on factory guns uh, in the market, hands down, all right? Plus, the Bergara action is very smooth, okay? Uh, it, I don't know what they've done exactly to get their tolerances the way they do, but it's one of the closest actions to a custom action I think that you can find on the market, all right? I'm not saying it's like a custom action. It's not going to come close to a, to a Defiance or a Curtis or, or a Kelblees or something like that, um, but... Uh, it, it does feel very good. It cycles smoothly, no hang-ups, that sort of thing locks up nice and tight. So the actions and the barrels on the Bergaras are top-notch. Another thing to note about the uh, Bergara uh, Ridgeback is that just about everything is Remington 700 platform. So you, you shoot a couple thousand, three thousand rounds uh, of 6.5 Creedmoor out of this gun and it's time to rebarrel. You can just rebarrel and it's going to fit right into that stock because it's a standard platform. Let's say you don't like the stock and you want to switch to a chassis. You know, you want to sh a switch to an MDT chassis or a, or a, a Masterpiece Arms chassis. It's a Remington 700 footprint. You can just easily switch. All right, and probably my favorite feature about this rifle is that they have chosen to uh, put standard into this thing a Trigger Tech trigger. And if you're into precision rifles and you've never heard of a Trigger Tech trigger, you're not into precision rifles, okay? Trigger Tech is the end-all, be-all of triggers, all right? They are the high-end right now. The vast majority of professional shooters are using Trigger Tech triggers. So for Bergara to um, source that out and put that stock standard whatever into their, their new rifle, uh, it speaks volumes, okay? They're really listening to the shooters uh, to the end user in designing this rifle. I just can only see good things coming from this one, so it is absolutely my number two choice. The MSRP on the Bagara Ridgeback is right at $2,000. And now for my number one pick of all the rifles I saw at SHOT Show 2019, the Hawa Mini Action, which has been around for several years. This year, it's out in a 300 Blackout. Guys, I have to tell you, I shot this thing at the industry day at the range uh, with um, subsonic ammo and a suppressor, and it was absolutely the quietest rifle I have ever shot. You know, many of you, along with me, we might be, uh, we might be used to shooting 300 blackout suppressed through something like an AR, and the loudest part of that is the action cycling. Well, you think about a bolt action, there's no action cycling forward and backward, uh, you know, as soon as you take the shot. So it is utterly quiet. It was so much fun to shoot. It is the first rifle in a long dang time that has brought a smile to my face while shooting it. You know, I love shooting precision uh, long range uh, rifles. You know, I'm shooting these custom guns that are eight to $10,000. They're great rifles, but I've become used to them. This little rifle with an MSRP of five to $600 Short little compact package, nothing particularly awesome about the stock, but it is a, a quality Hawa. It's the mini action, very smooth bolt throw and action on it. 300 blackout suppressed with subsonic ammo. I mean, I was shooting a five inch head plate at 200 yards and I could have stayed out there literally all day. No joke, it was so much fun. So these rifles have a six inch mini action. Right, um, you, you really kind of got to see it in order to compare it to something else. A standard short action is about 6.9 inches, 7 inches, something like that, um, whereas the mini action is 6 inches. So it makes the, the package compact, smaller. You put a you know 18 to 20 inch heavy barrel on it, like this one that I shot um, from Hawa, it makes just for a very small package. And uh, it's got a very nice two-stage trigger in it. You can imagine throwing this thing into a pack 
Uh, maybe you swap the stock out for something that's got a folding stock on it, like in a chassis system or something with a side folder. This would be a very good truck gun, uh, close quarters uh, varmint gun, that sort of thing. Even for you know those of us here in the Midwest or out east where you really don't have the long distance, it would make for an absolutely great uh, deer rifle. Very soft to shoot, very quiet, so much fun, and relatively inexpensive. So because of the price, because of the fun level alone, guys, I'm giving this my number one pick for best rifle that I saw at SHOT Show 2019. Guys, check out our sponsor, Ventura Munitions. They are big supporters of the show here. Give them some love. We love them a lot. Thanks also to you guys who are our Patreon supporters. We sure appreciate you. Look to our links below to get signed up for Patreon, get entered into some monthly giveaways, that sort of thing. Had so much fun at SHOT Show 2019 this year, guys. Hopefully you appreciated the coverage. You'll get it again next year. Stay tuned for more great videos from TFB TV.